for the solids lifting outlet, we're going to need to have a piece on the bottom of the tank that has some spaces in it to allow material to move in and go up into the lifting pipe, but is a little bit wider so we don't create literally too much suction on the bottom. So we're going to use this bushing and we're just going to notch this. So I've marked it in one inch intervals going around and we're going to remove the black parts. You could do this with a lot of different things. You could do it with a, a saber saw or a hand saw, a jigsaw, anything that will let you cut more or less a straight line down on each of these. And then we're going to have to probably use a jigsaw to cut across. I'm going to do this with a skill saw or a drop chop saw. Um, the point here is to be very careful, which I'm going to do. So if you're doing this by yourself or at home, you want to be very cautious about doing this. So what I'm going to do is use the literally the front edge to slice, make a little slice down in this thing. <laughs> All right, so the spots were made a double cut. I was trying to make a slice wide enough to be able to fit the jigsaw blade into, so I'll now be able to put this in a vise. Put the jigsaw blade in and cut across to the next open slot. So we're going to set up to do our side cuts on this piece of the SLO. So it's a lifting outlet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up a half inch at each of these corners. I'm using the flat edge of the speed square to keep things straight. Not there. Not and okay. okay, now I got some cardboard in the vise. I've got my skill saw or a jigsaw and I'm just going to try and cut straight across there. All right, that's one edge and then we'll just rotate it. Next, we want to get our length and height for the one inch pipe that's going to make the SLO. So, we get a measurement on our tank is from glass to glass, just shy of 17 and a half inches. So, we want to go to eight and a half, it gives us 17, another quarter, so eight and three quarters inches. So that's our distance here. Take a ruler, try and sight this right below, and go out to eight and three quarters. Then we can reverse measure to see how far off we are. So that's eight and three quarters there. So we'll split the difference, and that should give us the actual location of dead center which is that dot. Okay, so this thing is going to sit right there. We have our adapter. It's going to thread into this. And then we'll have a pipe coming off of here. So we have this looks like three and a half so we got to go eight and three quarters minus three and a half 
and then we need to add a half inch on either side to accommodate the fittings. All right, so we've cut our horizontal pipe for the solids lifting outlet. We've inserted that into this adapter. It's pretty well stuck in there now. So that slides in here. This T fits over the end. And that lines up pretty well with the center point of the tank. I'm okay with this being able to coming on and off because if I ever want to take this out, say I got to clean it or net fish out, uh, I want to be able to get this thing out of the middle of the tank. Okay, so we need to cut a vertical piece now to go from the T to our suction end. So we're going to make a mark here at 11.25. Grab our cutters. Line this up. Looks like our 11 and a quarter is a little long. Very close. So if I were to glue this together, it would probably come out at exactly the right length because that glue is going to help compress everything. And then I want to leave this unglued so I can take it on and off. I'm going to cement together these parts. I'm outside, if you, as you may notice. Um, that is because these solvents for PVC uh, smell pretty bad. You really don't want to use them in an enclosed space. Um, it'll be a little rough on you. So we're outside and I'm going to put together the horizontal piece and the vertical. I've got this cardboard on the table to protect it. This purple stuff, the primer does stain and it tends to drip off the cap like you just saw. I've messed up clothes and floors before. Okay, so try and squeegee off, squeegee off the excess. And then I'm just going to put a light ring in that side. And then go around what I'm inserting into it. And then you don't have to be super quick, but quickly get my general cement out here. Wipe off the excess and do the same thing. Give myself a ring on each of these pieces, like so. And then push them together. I'll leave that to dry. Now next piece, same sort of thing. So pieces that don't fit together well or go completely in, don't be afraid of those because once you have the primer in and the cement that kind of greases everything up and things tend to slide further than you think they will. And depending upon your level of cleanliness, I'm not a big fan of having purple all over the place, so I try and keep the amount of primer I use to a reasonable level, whereas some folks just like to go crazy with it. Um, that's personal choice. Parts are dry, so we're ready to do the assembly and see how they fit in the tank. So I already sanded this off a little bit just to make it smooth so it's not going to to our, our T. I'm going to quickly do the same with this. This is a leftover piece of 400 grit. Um, I'm not trying to take anything off, I'm just trying to smooth it. 
I already put red tape on this. So I'm just going to wind this into the bulkhead. Like so. Okay, now I'm going to insert. So you're going to have your T set up sideways. This is an overflow as well as a siphon break. So if the power goes out, you don't suck all the water out of your tank. All right, slide that in, and then that goes on here, and you can see how that fits exactly to the bottom of the tank. And that is our overflow outlet. Now I'm going to do the exterior part of this drainage system. So I'm going to take a piece of one-inch PVC, I'm going to slide it inside of this. This is a slip bulkhead on the side, going as far as I can. Then I'm going to use this to measure out how, where to cut it. So the letters on here, the lettering, pretty much corresponds to the end of that uh, socket. I'm just going to match that socket up on the edge of my bulkhead, and then draw a line at that C for Charlotte. Now we'll just do a quick little sand on this, and then I'll glue this inside of here. If I'm worried about it, I can also glue it into this. Or I can try using some of the tape, some of the polymer's tape, to help create a watertight seal. And this slide right in there.